Hey, welcome back, folks. Um, welcome to Bookskin's front of the day. Again, this is my second video of today because I'm, you know, I'm new to this, and I'm so eager just to show you the stuff I've got, and you know, I want to, you know, inform people of newer stuff that's coming out and all that lot. But um, today we're going to talk about communication. And I'm talking about gaming communication, not mobile phones or anything. I'm talking about Bluetooth headsets and the ones I use. All right. Um, basically, I use my three. I've got the Geotech. EX01, the EX02, and a headset called the Venom. And the Venom, I mean, we'll start with the Venom because the one and the two are pretty much, they're pretty, they're pretty similar. I just want to show you this little one for a start because this one is a beast. This is like, you know, the kind of like the Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon of headsets sort of thing. I mean, you know, I'll show you it right now. Right. Here it is. It's my little friend. I mean, look in the comparison of my thumb. I mean, it's a tiny little bastard thing. I mean, it sits, it sits like what, eight, nine, no, ten mil, um, from the distance away from your ear, sort of thing. So it covers like the whole side of your ear, and it sticks out about ten mil. I mean, it's it's tiny, it's lightweight, it's pretty simple. That's the on-off button. I don't know if you can see it because my shitty camera. Apologies, I'm running off my phone due to the fact that I can't afford a camcorder at the moment. But um, yeah, basically, you know, it's got two little buttons on the side, volume up, volume down. Um, the mute the same button, you just click it once and it mutes it, click it again and it unmutes it. I like the little, you know, Venom little, you know, it's just little square two spikes, but you know, it's just adding value to the, the product sort of thing. This comes in two sizes, a little rubber piece. Um, I'm using the larger side because I've got big ears. Um, I've got, uh, it also comes with a, um, like kind of like an ear clip that rests on the back of the cartridge and back of your ears, obviously, you know, like the, um, all the other headsets sort of thing. If you feel uncomfortable sticking pieces into your ear, because I know a lot of people get allergic reactions from it in search, and I mean, you know, each their own and all that. Um, it retails in uh, um, Play.com for about eight ninety nine. I got mine for, but it keeps on rising and falling, because obviously there's sales and all that. But I got it probably for about eight ninety nine, and it is only eight ninety nine's worth. Don't expect you're getting, uh, you know, a state of the art thing, because it's simple, it's basic. I mean, if you've got a a kid, you've got a child, you know, grandchild, nephew, niece, whatever, who likes to play PS3, and you don't want them to touch your nice sparkling new Sony one or whatnot, give them this, because it's only one button. You set the volume. I don't think they'll even know how to set the volume or whatnot. Just stick it in their ear, and, you know, they're away playing Little Big Planet with their, you know, other mate down the road or whatnot. I mean, this is, this is more like a family-orientated headset, if you can call it that sort of thing. I mean, it's pretty neat. It's, it's bog standard. There's no... There's no kind of like, you know, noise reduction, and the charge is pretty simple. It's like a little charge point in there, if you can see it, just about. And um, basically, yeah, it's, it's worth its cash. And then we go back to the um, Geotex, the 1 and 2. This is the 1, this is the 2, basically. I'll call them 1 and 2, they're EX01 and EX02, but, you know, if you want to be technical about it, this one is my first one I've got. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. You know, it's... Uh, it's very reliable, very enjoyable. I mean, if you can see, I've got a little scar on the front of it because I managed to uh, whack it with a craft knife once, and uh, you know, it's just like it just works, it just keeps on working. It's not um, it's, it hasn't affected the, the durability of the product. It's just you know facial, and I really thought it was fucked, and it's just working. I mean, it's got you know a small mic area. I mean, the light's pretty whatever. You don't normally see it, and it doesn't flash as often as I would want it to do, just to indicate and such. I mean. The, the the bulk of it, I mean, it's a, it's a bit heavy on the back. It's a bit heavy on the back, so you, you can easily knock this about. I mean, this is extendable, this bit here. I mean, you can lift this up and down sort of thing. It's, it elevates sort of thing. I mean, if you've got a wider face or, you know, whatnot, um, it's, it's pretty cool. But this one, this one's a war horse. This one will last you forever and a day. I mean, I've had, I've been in very sticky situations. And I mean, this, the battery life on it's still good. I've had this for a year, and I can still get about four, four to six hours gameplay out on it. And it's, you know, it's, it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. But, um, yeah, this one is the uh, Geotech EX01, and, uh, yeah, this one is, uh, <laughs> this one's a dog's bollocks, this one's the, like, the elite in my group sort of thing. It even comes with different faceplates. When I got it from the shop, it didn't come with any faceplates, just this, I mean, it doesn't bother me. I mean, I'm going to see it when I'm taking it off my face, it's not exactly like a show car or something, is it? But, um, yeah, this is, this is neat. Um, it's kind of got the same, if you have a look, it's kind of got the same button alignment, um, as the zero one, um, the, the the light I'm pretty impressed with because it covers a lot of space. And if you're in a dark room, you can actually see it glowing off the side of your face. Um, also, it, it's a lot more responsive. Um, it will flash quicker when it's 
like depleting this charge and it will flash slower when it's like you know on the top of its charge but i mean it gives a steady charge off you don't have to you know pause your game and look every like you know wait for like 20 seconds for it to go oh yes yes i'm working still sort of thing i mean you can see straight away i mean, it's, I mean the pause time on a full charge light is probably about two or three seconds so you know you've got no problem there um it's got like the comfy earpiece at the back i mean doesn't do a lot i mean honestly i just think it's to stop getting crap and earwax and stuff into the actual main speaker itself but um yeah i mean it's cool um the charge station is pretty neat as well we've got two metal pins there and they charge onto a little thing that looks like a stingray or like you know or a race route of f-zero whatever you want to do um but basically yeah it fits on like that it's basically a magnetic clip so it will come off if you shake it a lot but it won't i mean you can knock it around you know it, it just won't come off it's pretty neat um the venom and the uh ex01 both come with something that roughly looks like this. I mean, this is for the this is for the X zero one, but this works on the Venom. It's the same on the Venom, except the Venom had to be different and put a black cap on the top, not a yellow cap sort of thing. I mean, it's exactly the same, fits into the side. These aren't as reliable because they 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 can twist, and I've known this one to give off bad signals when it twists. Like it will show it's charging, and I'll knock it once, and it just won't charge. Um, I haven't had a problem with the Venom. I've only had the problem with the um, EX zero one. And I mean that's a big thing you've got to look out for, especially if you're like panicking to charge the thing and you look fine, it's like it's only done like a one percent charge and you're fucked because you want to tell you make something important and you can't. It's uh, yeah, that's that's reliable when it's charged. This one's reliable like on and off. I mean, I've had this. It says six hours, but I reckon I've got seven and a half hours on a full charge. I mean, when you first buy, I recommend when you first buy any of these headsets, any of these, you charge them for at least anything between three and five hours before you even touch them. They say 45 minutes or 60 minutes there, but, you know, common common sense is, you know, it's a new battery. You max it out so you can get, you know, maximum use out of it. And, I mean, yeah, those are the three. Those are the three bigs, you know. The Geotech EX01, the Geotech EX02, and the VXCOM Venom 2 Elite headset. And that's that little baby. Um, if you have any questions or comments, or you want to write any feedback, you know, because this is this is maybe my, my second review, and you know, I would like some feedback. Um, please feel free to write on my on my page. I mean, you know, any feedback really. I mean, you know, I don't want any trolls or anything. But if you want to, go ahead. It's not going to fucking fuss me. Um, I'll probably be back um, in a little while. Going to show you um, a few reviews and some more titles and some more games. Um, they will not be current games at the moment. They'll probably be older games due to the fact that I haven't got anything connected to my TV, and if I was going to show you anything, I'd rather want you to see it visually than just to me explain it. Um, if anyone's got, wants any information on any PS3 game, more or less, um, write out which one you want to review on, and when my eBay account is up and running, um, every week I'll put on free games that I'm going to put on my eBay account for sale, and um, the ones that you like, the one out of the three that you like the most, will go for half price. So that's just a little initiative there, guys. Um, I'll catch you later on. It's Bug Scoop over and out.